We have our homestead that we are building up, but we also like to travel in our travel trailer. So that's just part of what we do here at the Bourne Homestead. But to be real, it's actually just taking our life here and compacting it down to a smaller square foot. <laughs> I have to get up onto the top bunk to make the bed and it is an awful experience. Get your real quick. Mm -hmm. I go over the other side. How romantic. I see you have my pink toolbox. I do. Do you think I need to adjust that at all? I can't move it. What do you mean? See the trailer ball? It's whatever's convenient for you. Okay, I guess I'll try it. Well, I look that I can see pretty far back, so if I angle it down a little bit more. Oh, that was fun. Welcome to our channel. My name is Crystal. I'm doing something different today. We're going in there. This is our travel trailer. We bought it, I don't know, two or three years ago. I don't remember. We are one of those families that likes to travel, but we like to do it with a camper. We got a travel trailer when my daughter was one. We got our first one and we traveled a lot and had a great time doing it and got to bring our dogs with us and we loved it so much. And then we had our son and we needed a bigger one. So we bought this one. It's been sleeping all winter. We recently took off the cover for it. I'm going to go in it for the first time in a while. I haven't gone in it since our last camping trip last summer. There were definitely mice in there. Steve's been catching them with traps and things, but I haven't been in there at all to really take a look at what's going on. We are about a week away from leaving on our first camping trip this year, and I've done nothing. We need to do some things. I have to clean it, pack it. I figured I would bring you along. Right now, you'll get to see it with the slide in. Uh, not right now, dude. This is the big bedroom. I like this part because even when the slide is in, we can easily get into our bedroom area. And then with the slide in, it comes in pretty far and we have to kind of squeeze through here. But Steve's been having the traps underneath the cabinet. I don't want to open it because <laughs> I don't want to see what's going on. But they were getting in the drawers. And one of the drawers back here, these are the kids' drawers. I'm kind of scared. I get scared opening this stuff like a body is going to jump out at me or something. Oh. oh. Just kids' things. A little messy. There is literally nothing in here. Let's take a look at the bathroom. It's dark in here. Oh, one of these, one of those fell off. All right. Oh, I felt a spider web. Oh. I have to say that we like having a travel trailer for so many reasons, but one of the reasons is we like to bring our dogs with us when we travel. We like having our own stuff. We don't have to worry about when we get to a hotel trying to figure out the sleeping situation or anything. We have everything we need right here. And a lot of the campgrounds nowadays, some of the ones we, we've stayed at are resort-like with how nice they are. We had ones with restaurants on the grounds, beachfront, and it's just, it's a really good time. So we've always really enjoyed it. Our first trip is just a weekend trip. It's gonna be three days, so the chickens should be fine by themselves. They go in and out of the coop by themselves just fine. Both of their water containers last for at least a couple weeks. So three days is nothing. Then their food lasts a really long time too. All right, I just kind of wanted to come out here and see where I'm at. I have a lot to do. So he's got to get the battery hooked up so we can put the slide out. He is repairing the camera, backup camera on his truck hasn't been working for a long time. And see that little cover there? I, I made that. I made that so it protects the TV so it doesn't bounce back and forth. I made that for the last camper. Oh, those are gifts for the kids. When we get to a campsite and we need to like set up the, the trailer and do all the stuff, I buy the kids toys, like new toys. Like little things, nothing expensive, but I got them some new kinetic sand kits that they can do at the picnic table when we get there. That way I can set up inside, get their beds all done and everything. The first trip is usually a disaster. All right, I guess I better get busy. Hi. 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 All right, so I've started a bunch of laundry. 
I'm excited to go camping. I'm excited to get away. These are our little vacations together. But to be real, it's actually just taking our life here and compacting it down to a smaller square foot. <laughs> so here's the packing I've done so far. I have sodas and soap and Gatorades and plastic bags and snacks and things to make s'mores. Oh man, I have done very little. Should be relatively clean other than the random ladybugs that I got in. Yeah, I wish those ladybugs went to the garden. They come in the dive. The kids are inside. Miranda's building with Legos and Jacob is playing a game. So we are out here. We just went through a couple of things and put some stuff away. We are out here. We are going to make all three beds, get the sheets on, make a little bit of progress, and we're just going to take small bites and do little bits and pieces as we can. I used to care about like what matched and what didn't match and now it's just whatever's easier i have to get up onto the top bunk to make the bed and it is an awful experience it's so bad on the knees kids bunks first yep. i was looking for the fitted is that the fitted i hope so i'm confused because we had a big box of all of the bedding and stuff and i don't know where that went i used to have everything matching and everybody's sets were fun and everything went together and then Last year, when we only went away uh, two weekends during the summer last year, I was just like, grab the pillows from inside, <laughs> throw everything in the camper. We had great times every time we went away and none of that stuff mattered. All that, all the extra time and effort I would put in to make everything match, it doesn't matter. I would like that Betty's bedding, but it's so expensive, I can't. <laughs> I can't do that. But I guess I'll make our bed since we need to go find the kids sheets. Having fun? <laughs> I got it. Do -do. Mm -hmm. Black and brown. But you know what? It doesn't match, but all of this stuff is so soft and so comfortable. Concern sleeping on a piece of plywood is the opposite. <laughs> well, it's a piece of plywood and a throw rug. All right, so the kids' blankets have to be around somewhere. I think I should probably go inside and help Steve try and find stuff. My hair is particularly fabulous today. It's so humid and disgusting outside. All I did in the garden was, what did I do in the garden? Oh, I pruned tomatoes because it's like that time to start like pulling off all the suckers. So I've been doing that. Pruning and tying up tomatoes was what I did today. I think the easiest way to put the sheet on is to take the mattress off. The other thing we need to remember is the fan, the plug-in fans. I'll add it to the list. Yeah, so we'll pull off the top mattress and it's just easier that way to put the sheet. Yes. We will be back when we are doing more to get our camper ready for our first trip of the year and we will see you then. Goodbye. Bye bye. Okay, we're back. Kind of. It's about a week later. <laughs> so that means we're leaving today. I haven't been out here since what you just saw and Steve and I have officially brought 90% of the items to the trailer so it's a disaster in here. I'm at the point now though because I like to clean my house before we go away so the house is clean. Now I don't feel like doing anything out here. We're gonna put the stuff away just so that we can bring the slide in and I'll figure it out once we get to the trailer. Camp. The camper. Once we get to the campground, I'll figure it out. The refrigerator is packed. Steve turned the refrigerator on last night, so it was nice and cool this morning. So we already put the things in the refrigerator. And now it's raining. Yeah, the forecast is rain all weekend, which I'm super excited about. But our campsite is supposedly has a patio situation, so we don't have to worry about that, which is gonna be good. Hey, so for before I forget, <laughs> Before I forget, what you guys just saw was us making the kids' beds with some sheets, and I ended up finding 
these classy looking things on Target's website for 10 bucks for a sheet set. It was a full size sheet set, comes with the fitted sheet, the pointless flat sheet, and the two pillowcases for the kids, the campground. And they're super soft, I'm so excited. So I was gonna make the kids beds up with these, but it's not gonna happen. So I'm just gonna put these off to the side and maybe I'll switch it up once we get there, but probably not. At least I'll have them for next time. <laughs> stuff thrown in here some of the stuff my medicine cabinet and stuff fit down there all the other things that are in that brown bag from Target should go in here but it's starting to fall down I don't feel like fixing it at this moment I'd rather just get on the road so I will fix it when we get to the campground and then I will put everything away kids bunks looking good enough room to bring the slide in I just need to move some of this stuff over to the bedroom and then I think we are good to go. Well, it's crooked and that's just what's happening. That'll do it for this strange video. I hope you enjoyed it. We have our homestead that we are building up, but we also like to travel in our travel trailer. So that's just part of what we do here at the Born Homestead. We go away. And part of that is getting our trailer ready and we wanted to record it, remember it, and share it. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay too. So we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.